Hello everyone. Welcome to the Lab Cafe's practical session. We are going to measure the diameter of a small spherical or cylindrical body, internal diameter and depth of a given beaker using a vernier caliper. Finally, we will calculate its volume. Apparatus. We will use a vernier caliper, a spherical or cylindrical body, a beaker and a ruler. Principle. First, we will find a least count of a vernier caliper. The difference in magnitude of one main scale and one vernier scale is called least count. In our case, 10 vernier scale division equals to 9 main scale division. Therefore, 1 vernier scale division equals to 9 by 10 MSD. Hence, the vernier constant is 1 minus 9 by 10 MSD which is 1 by 10 MSD. And once we calculate it, we find the vernier constant is 0. 0 0.01 centimeter. The formula we use to calculate the volume of the spherical object is V equals to 4 by 3 pi r cube where r is the radius of the sphere. Before we take the reading of the radius of the spherical object, we have to correct if there is any zero error or not in the instrument. Now when these two jaws are brought together intact, the vernier zero and the main scale zero should be on the same line. In that case, we say there is no zero error. But sometimes you see there is the vernier error which is not coincide with the zero error. In that case, we say this is the positive zero error. We have to subtract the positive zero error from the actual error. The zero error is negative when the zero mark of the vernier scale shifted towards the left side of the zero of the main scale when the jaws are made to touch each other. In such case, we have to add the negative error to the actual error. Procedure. We will measure the diameter of this spherical body. To do so, we will insert this spherical body between these jaws and with the help of the screw, we will grip it gently and then we will take the reading of main scale as well as vernier scale. So as we can see that the main scale reading is 2.5 and the vernier scale is coinciding with the main scale at 10 division. So we have 2.5 main scale division and 10 vernier scale division. In the same way, we will rotate this spherical body 90 degree to its previous position and do the same and we will take another set of reading. So where we can see that the main scale reading is 2.4 and the vernier scale reading is 6. Now repeat the same steps and collect 3 to 4 more data in the table. Finally apply the zero corrections and get the mean of the diameter. Now we will measure the internal diameter of this beaker using this vernier caliper. To do so, we will put this external jaws inside the beaker and check the reading. As we can see that main scale reading is 6.4 and the vernier line is coinciding with the main line on third division. So the total reading is 6.4 main scale reading and 3 vernier scale reading. We will repeat the same by rotating this beaker 90 degree and get the same reading. And we also see in this case it is 6.4 main scale reading and 3 vernier scale reading. Finally, we will put these records into the table and apply the zero correction and we will calculate the average or mean diameter. Now we will measure the depth of this beaker. To do so, we will extend the strip of the vernier scale as long as possible and gently dip inside this beaker. And then finally, we will squeeze the length as if it touches the boundary of the beaker. Now we make the reading on the scale that the main scale reading is 9.5 and the vernier scale which is coinciding on the main scale is 3. So 9.5 is the main scale and 3 is the vernier scale. We will repeat the same procedure to get more data in our table. 
finally we will correct the zero error correction and we will get the mean depth of the beaker calculation the diameter of the sphere ds equals to 2.493 cm hence the radius of the sphere rs equals to ds by 2 equals to 1.2465 cm the internal diameter of the beaker db equals to 6.44 the radius of the beaker rb equals to db by 2 which is equals to 3.22 cm the depth of the beaker h equals to 9.56 cm hence the volume of the beaker is vb equals to pi r square h equals to 311.4 cm cube and the volume of the spherical object vs equals to 4 by 3 pi r cube which is equals to 8.11 cm cube so this was the step by step procedure to calculate the diameter of a spherical body or the depth of a beaker and its volume by using a vernier caliper i hope you enjoy this video we'll see you in the next video